hey my friends so today we're going to talk about creating coupons and deals for your course so you've got an online course you've got it all set up you've got the course on the site you've recorded the videos or maybe even you haven't recorded maybe you're just preparing it because you can you want to sell it in a live master class that's another an, another option too but you want to have deals and coupons to well whatever the reason is let's say for example we're uh, doing a master class and you're n you don't even have the course yet but you want to offer it at the discount because the course doesn't exist yet but you want them to see the real price that it's going to be instead of just you know then them not knowing how much of a deal they're getting right so you want to do that we're going to show you how to do that in just a second but first this so the real question is this what are the strategies techniques and tools that you need to learn to generate residual income from the e-learning boom that's happening right now my name is Jean-Serge Gagnon and welcome to Course Income Secrets all right so we're going to show you I'm going to share my screen and before we do that let remind you if you're listening to the audio you're going to want to go check out the video and the blog post at cis314.jsgagnon.com make sure you go check that out to see the video and the blog post so we're going to do um, screen share and I'm going to show you what I'm talking about let me just uh, go for example oh actually you know what I should have prepared that I didn't prepare my screen share ahead of time let me just take a look here what do I have do I have a screen I can set up <laughs> set up as a share no not yet well I guess I do let's just go over here this is the incognito window let me share the screen just a minute just a, well not a minute a few seconds this stop and webcam there you go so let's just make sure this is positioned right so you can see the whole thing all right so um I don't know about other platforms I I know um, lots of the course platforms have coupons I don't know about deals I don't know how they how they structure things I can tell you about Click eCourse because that's the platform I created that's the platform I know the best I I set it up so I know how to do this so that's what I'm going to show you right now so if I if you go to clickecourse.com let's put the link up for you uh where is it right here so if you go to clickecourse.com right now you're going to see a page like this right which is basically the an intro page if you will of the site then you can register an account or you can log in if you already have one but if you go to the courses tab you click on courses up top here right you're going to see the list of public courses that are on the site you can filter through them if I want to say for example I want to find just LinkedIn courses I can just type LinkedIn right here and it's taking a little longer to load up I'm not sure why my internet isn't that great right now <coughs> but if I just uh, search for LinkedIn courses uh, as you can see it's loading up right so if I search for LinkedIn courses I click on the little search is it yeah there you go okay so it's going to show me just the LinkedIn courses right um I can also and yeah let's wait for it to load okay so there you go so now on the site right now there's only three LinkedIn courses that are public there's there might be some other uh, private courses that aren't available on the on the main site but for the public courses there's three of them for LinkedIn I can search for I can also search for I don't know Facebook for example right and if I look Facebook there's two of them right now actually that's well, that's kind of weird I didn't know but if I just clear the search right and I get back all the courses right now that are on the site um and if we can load that's that really is uh, I'm sorry about the internet there that's slow today I don't really know what's going on I think they're doing an update on the towers um or around the area I've been ha they've been having some problems with the internet anyway so you get you got courses here right so let's say I look at a course like um can I show you let me see I've got um this LinkedIn connection growth secrets for example this course here if we can load it up when we load it up as a visitor that doesn't have an account you can see that it's saying there's 150 bucks that's the price that it's there you can actually buy it for that price um, and get the course at that price but what if you want to offer it to your to people you know or maybe you want to you want you want, want to make a deal on it there's you can have a coupon a, or a deal so the difference between the coupons and the deals is that the coupons are specific price or specific percentage um and somebody <coughs> just applies a coupon right here on the page 
and then they'll see the price or the percentage off that you chose whereas a deal is automatically available if they're within the time window of the deal so you can have a deal that that's from today to the end of the month you can have a deal that's um that's that's for the week you can have it for just for the day you can have it for the year it's really up to you you can set the, the start and end times of deals so you could have for example a deal that starts on Friday until Sunday and then you have another deal that starts on Monday to, to, to Thursday maybe the, the the Friday deal is you know 50 percent off and the and the rest of the week deal is seven is a 25 percent off right so then you end up having a depending on when the person sees your page they'll see a different price that's deals the deals are automatic people don't have to know the the coupon or anything like that the, the difference the cool thing about coupons though is that you can have um, a maximum number of uses as well right so you can say I'm going to give this course at you know 90 percent off but only the first 10 people that actually take action so that allows you to do something like say a master class for example you might want to say I want to I want to just uh you know I'm going to put that in the group right now I'm, I'm, I'm going to be starting a master class next month it's going to be this course it's going to be this amazing thing you're going to learn abc and you're going to learn the def and xyz you're going to learn all these cool things and it's going to be sold for you know two thousand bucks but if you take action this week the first 10 people or even the first five people or something like that that take action you can get it for you know that price right so I actually have if I log in to my account right there I'm going to log in here as my account <laughs> if I log in you can actually go well this this is this course here actually I have a but if I go to my courses that I have on here there's one actually I did kind of put together a mastermind that I haven't yet scheduled but I have a mastermind um where is it LinkedIn Chrome extension uh, become a perfect webinar master so that one there I I'm planning on putting it together in a bit a mastermind or maybe what yeah that's the one so this one here I actually put right on the page here the prices right so it's a two thousand dollar course but if you um and I probably should have showed you that let's log out I want to show you what it looks like without let's let me just log out here and I'm going to go into so if I reload this page right so this is a course that's not whoops this is a course that you can't find in my in the public it's a private course so that that means you need to know the link you need to know the actual link to get to the course to find it but as you can see uh, this this course here has I actually put coupons in here right on the page that if somebody clicks on this like this coupon here at 49 dollars right you'd get the the course at 49 dollars if you just click it then you get you can use that coupon or you can put it in here if you wanted but right the link will also work it's just like I said the internet's really slow I don't know why um so let's just go back to the main page I'm actually going to open up a new window here and I'm going to go to click eCourse uh and I'm going to log in on that again click eCourse so the, you know that's where you need to get your course at right so go to click eCourse.com and take the link away uh it's really 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 slow slow internet what is going on with my internet uh, let's go back to the uh, oh there it is okay so if I log in here by the way whenever you click whenever if you want to create an account on the site you would click on the register link and then you can actually say continue with Facebook or you can use an email and password you can go ahead and create an account you can actually host two courses on this site for free to learn all about how it works uh and do things like what I'm going to show you here the coupons and all that so let's just uh, get to that if I can get this to continue here like I said the internet is I don't know what's going on there's there's no real reason for it to be slow other than something going on on on, uh, on the internet right so let's just continue as uh, me there we go registration with Facebook so you can actually register or log in if you're already if you're already registered you can actually click on the register with that and it'll just log you in anyways so right now I'm logged in 
we go back to my courses let's go back to my courses and let's go find that course right we're going to go find that course down here where is it right there perfect webinar master I'm just going to go to this course right here I can actually click on this little thing I don't need to wait for it to load it's going to load it's really really slow like I said I'm not I don't mean to be okay but here's the thing so this course here is two thousand dollars that's whoops I didn't want to click on that let's just escape okay so this course here oh I guess it is going to load so let's just let it go back and I'm going to go back to the incognito window right here where is the incognito and is this the one no it's this one okay so right here is the non-registered you know you're visiting the site or your visitor is actually accessing your course and they can see right now as you can see I clicked on this link on this here and it's loaded up this thing it's saying you know you can get it for 49 dollars there's five people or five coupons of five remaining so the idea with this is that the first few people will pay just 49 bucks for the course but they don't get it they don't get it now because it's not published yet right and by the way if you want to learn about becoming a perfect webinar then please go ahead and find this I can I can send you the link if you'd like uh, and then you can buy it for just 49 dollars right now and I will be hosting that in a not too distant future it's just one of the things I'm kind of planning on doing you can see down here some of the um, some of the, the the parts of the lessons right so what we're going to be talking about anyway so that's the course that somebody sees if these coupons are used up it's going to say none left and then you'll have to use the 10 the 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 99 dollar or the 149 or whatever right so I'm putting it there maybe I don't need to put that there I'm not saying you have to do it this way you could just send out coupons to people and say this is the coupon at 49 dollars and they're you know but the thing is that if you send them the 49 dollar coupon and they're used up they might get offended or upset right you might need and, and if you were to send them that 99 dollar coupon afterwards you might be like well I'm not gonna pay 99 that's double the price <coughs> but anyways I'm just saying there's a there's a way to manage this manage expectations let people know there's only five left if you don't buy it right now uh, within the first five you're gonna have to pay the 99 dollars which is still you know a crazy deal because it is a two thousand dollar course so you, that you know depending how you word it and how you tell them anyways let's talk about how do you create these coupons so first let's go to the site and create a new course so to create a new course what you do is you click on the plus right here and you say course and you just enter the information for the new course okay so this will be a test let's say uh learn uh in uh, let's call it LinkedIn LinkedIn mastery okay whoops mastery and this is going to be a uh, learn all about LinkedIn and how to master it what does that mean right so anyways you can have obviously you can put a description in here uh, in LinkedIn mastery we will show you how to and then you can say you know uh grow your set up your profile set up your your set up a winning profile um create uh grow your connections grow your connections up to 1000 a month well let's just say over 1000 a month over 1000 a month which is something like anyways and more right whatever right so now I'm just saying next right here but this is a LinkedIn mastery course I'm just going to say next on the header code SEO don't need to worry categories I probably can put uh LinkedIn is there a LinkedIn category there is let's put that in there and then I'm going to say uh cover image I'm just going to pick an image I have from the past under here I got a LinkedIn course before so I'll just use one of those LinkedIn secrets uh this let's go into here I don't even have an image yet okay connection growth there let's just do that no I already have that image let's use this one there you go this one here nah, 
I thought I had another image in here oh there you go there let's use this one okay so now I'm going to say next and that's going to save that as an image I'm going to set the price how much how much should LinkedIn you know mastery be sold for I'm going to say 1997 right and I can also give commission to people who actually promote it for me I can give them a commission on the price that it sells for not obviously not the price of the course but the whatever it sells for so if there's a deal of 500 bucks or 200 bucks <coughs> or you know 9.99 they're going to get a percentage of that price right so let's say I'm looking for just people to join my my list I'm going to give them 90 percent commission right get 90 percent commission I go next right here I can allow whether they can download the mp3s or not and whether they can download the videos let's say I don't want them to download the videos but I want them to download the mp3s that's fine so I'm going to say next and then use embedded video so this is on the free account on the free account you can't um you can't disable that or it, I don't even know if it's even there maybe it's not even there when you do it but uh but anyway so that's the embedded on the free account uh you have to use embedded videos say from YouTube but uh but that's so that's another thing I don't worry about it now the access is where you can say I want this to be unlisted or I want it to be public or maybe just people who have an account can see it or people who've already bought it can see it and so <coughs> so that's just different ways of seeing it I'm just going to say to unlist it under sales uh you can have a sales page so it's basically creating an html page in the zip file and having your own sales page you can do that with this instead of using the default and under sites it's basically are you, do you want your course to show up on other sites if you're not making your course public this doesn't really matter but uh, yeah we'll just say done right now and now the course is a uh, thousand nine hundred ninety seven now I could I need to add lessons so down the bottom here you click on add lesson and under add under add lesson you just uh let's just make this uh where's the I'm going to make this basic option so the default is this you're going to see the default the basic options you don't have to specify your own uh, you can thumbnail and publish right away the video so let's go to my YouTube channel and search for LinkedIn I actually had that before didn't I look at that so if I go here and I search for some of the LinkedIn videos I have I have these little LinkedIn videos right I'm going to take this video here get the shareable link then go back here and I'm going to paste that right in there and I'm going to say publish right away so I'm going to save that and uh, this option here download video instead of embedding that's only available if you're if you're in a, a higher end account the free account doesn't let you do that so but still okay I'm going to add another one I'm going to put a second one in here and the second one will be number two right here this one here get shareable link okay I'm going to paste that in here save that I'm published right away there we go okay so now I have two lessons in this course you can have a, obviously a bunch of other lessons and if you're if you're preparing your course without without having videos yet for it right you can actually create new lessons I can just say add a new lesson and I'll just give it a lesson I'm going to specify the title and everything myself because it's not I don't have video yet so this will be um profile secrets right uh, learn the secrets to getting your profile noticed right and uh, in this in this lesson lesson we will right whoops no three s's yeah Not, I don't need three s's I just need two s's in lesson so I'm going to do this there's no video uh and there's no thumbnail but we're I can specify my file if I want but for now I'll just save it like this it's just so you can kind of see you can kind of prepare your videos in your plat your uh, course ahead of time with with just placeholders for each of your lessons right so if I go back to the course right here <coughs> now you can see the course has you know the, the 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 title the title right here the summary right here and then the details right here and then we have the three lessons so far like I said I didn't set a thumbnail right here but just to kind of give you an idea you can have multiple lessons in your course and okay so now we have a course we have a course that's that people can actually buy uh it is hidden but it's available with the link so 
that allows people to buy it if you send them the link now what if you want to have let's say you want a deal that is going to be for the next three months right so right now uh, as I'm recording this is January 20th so let's just say I want to create a new deal I click on manage deal and well let's go back here so I just click on this manage deal and coupons right there right and I click on that and it opens up the list of deals and the list of coupons right so right now I want to create a new deal so this deal is going to be 9.97 and it's going to start right now and let's uh, start right now and end on 2021 uh, 0331 let's say right and just a normal end date so that's let's just do that so that's going to be the coupon here if I if I go and get this link and put that in the incognito window right over here now let's open up another, another tab so we don't lose the other one so if I go here now you're going to see it says that it's 997 until the 30th of March right so that's the current deal right now that's a deal so if I click on manage deals and coupon again you see that I have this current deal right here right so it says now the other thing you can do with deals you can actually have a deal that um you have all these different different options right here that you can actually set your deal to last for a longer time but only be a certain period so what what do I mean by that so say for example you want to have let's just give you an example day midnight Monday Tuesday so you can have um for a week for a month for a year so what you can do is you can have a price of say um well let's just say it's 495 right this is even a better deal but this one here is only on Fridays so midnight on Friday so it's going to be uh let uh, you still have to give it an end here so 2021 01 uh, 03:31, and let's I hope this works right so now I have these whoops I said exit didn't I oh okay that's fine I clicked on submit and I just uh, didn't uh, let it come back so it's right here see how that's there so expire type is this Friday so that means that it'll expire on Friday so that means if we were Saturday well actually right now we're not so if we were but the thing is that you're going to see this deal now if I go back to the to the this one here and I reload it it's going to show me 495 until the 22nd at midnight right which is Friday so that means that the deal is there until Friday so that means that next week it, it'll show the next week so it looks like the deal ends this week right you got just until this week so I can even have another deal if I want that ends today so I can say day today at midnight right so I can say let's make this for uh, 397 and it's again it's going to end 2021 I can even make 1231 right at the end of the year so then I can say submit and there you go so now I have these three deals and if I go back you'll see that it's 397 now and it ends tonight at midnight right so that's how you can use these deals that expire every single day but you can make it last so you don't have to constantly be adding new deals every single week that you need to add right so you can just say give me a deal that's going to last for the year but ends every every Friday or every Saturday or every Sunday or every day even or every week every month that's kind of what these are right so you can those are so those are deals those are deals you can give them um a number a maximum number of uses as well so if somebody uses up if, if there's a deal for only five first buyers then then if they if you sell at that deal price then that deal goes away even though it's not expired yet it's no longer valid because it's ex, it's used up right so you can have a used up count um I, I don't know if the I don't think I have an edit yeah the edits I have to I probably should put in place an edit but let's say I give it 390 349 right I'm going to say 349 and uh, this is going to be also um well let's just give it an expiry of today 2021 20, uh, 2021 0120 right <laughs> well let's say 21 
submit that now we have another deal right which is uh 397 if I go back to here and I just reload it oh I wanted to show you the the the, the expire but anyways this one here is 3, 349 it's showing me 349 349 showing me this one because these all these other ones aren't relevant for today based on the time based on other things right so that's kind of how it works it'll show you the best deal that's available for you as a visitor to the course so that's the deals that's how you do the deals now what about the coupons let's say I want to create a coupon for 49 dollars I'm going to put I'm going to call it uh super 49 right it doesn't really matter you put whatever you want as a coupon name and then you put a price or percentage off let's just say I say 49 dollars and I want a maximum of five I don't want more than five people getting in on this deal I just put the max count right here to five I submit that and then when I look at it you see now I have this deal super 49 so this also right here if you right click this you can copy this link right or you can I can open an incognito to show you so <laughs> that's the the link is right there so now you see it's 49 dollars because I have the coupons 49 remain 505 if I uh and then I then if I want I can create another coupon here I can say super 9.99 and I'll just put a few little characters there so people can't guess that I said 99 and I'm going to say 10 of these I'm going to submit that so now I have this deal here if I open this in the community you're going to see that the price now is showing up as 99 dollars because I use the coupon super 99 dhdh right so that's how you set up deals and coupons on your courses you can have as many deals as you want deals don't expire you can put a, a date on them as well if you want a start and end I I I think there's a but yeah so you can put a start of the deal so in other words your deal could could start only in a tomorrow and end you know in, in four days you can give it a specific time frame so if the person ever tries to use the coupon before or after they can't use it either right so you can put dates on them as well like that so you can do all that that's stuff you can do for all your courses um there you go and so deals and coupons in your courses that's how you do it that's how you do it on Click eCourse so like I said there's obviously there's there's different websites that have different different things um and you can yeah so as you can see right here there's also information right here that shows you how many sales you've made how many students you have uh even how many impressions if I reload this page now we'll see there's other more impressions is that what the impressions are <coughs> no the impressions are viewing the course in the main main site but there's 18 views see there's 18 people there's no lesson views there's no clicks there's no add to carts no sales and you can also see how long your course is how many modules you have how many lessons you have how many files how many quizzes um the number of seconds in the course the total number of uh time that the course lasts obviously right now I only have two videos so 219 216 that's why it says four minutes 35 seconds right add those two up together <coughs> if I had more then it obviously shows more just like if I go to if I go to the view of the course if I go into here you can't see that information here right that information is not showing up because we're not logged in because we're not a student of the course there's um there's some of the, all this information is private to you as you can see right there that part obviously doesn't show up to students students can't see you know how, <clears throat> how many other students are in there uh then the your income you made that kind of stuff right you, you can't see that but you can see that and you can see um uh, but they can see how long how many they can see this public information whenever they're logged in though only logged in and so yeah so yeah so that's how you create that's how you create coupons all you got to do is you got to create your course on Click eCourse you click on the manage deals and coupons afterwards then you can add all these uh, as many lessons as you want on your course and uh, it's not lessons sorry <laughs> coupons and deals like you can see right here and you can set percentages you can set start dates end dates all those different things and yeah so hopefully you enjoyed and if you have any questions you can always reach out put a comment below or or send me a message and I'll help you uh, as best I can and uh, we'll see you in the next episode have yourself a great day 
This has been Course Income Secrets, the entrepreneur's blueprint to generating income from the e-learning boom. Some of your friends need to hear this message, so don't forget to share. For more content like this, go to CourseIncomeSecrets.com and make sure to subscribe and follow us here. My name is Jean-Serge Gagnon. Until next time.